She was a chairperson of media in the Canadian Polish Congress in 1999 to 2001, writing and publishing news in regards to activities led by Congress. She also was an author of the radio program called Meetings with the Congress. In 2008 and 2009, she was the school coordinator at the John Paul II Polish Language School, supported by the Canadian Polish Congress. In 2000, Agatha became a member of the Polish Women's Federation in Manitoba. In 2005, she accepted the position of vice president, and later on, in 2008 to 2010, she served as president. She has actively been participating in all of the Federation's activities, such as, for example, in preparation for the competition called Showcase of Young Talents and other events organized for the Polish community. In appreciation for her dedication and service to the Polish community, Mrs. Kavalec is receiving an honorary bronze pin of the Canadian Polish Congress. Mrs. Prochownik arrived in Canada in 1975 and together with her husband, Gisław, are dedicated volunteers who have been recognized and respected for their creative and leadership talents. Over the last 15 years, they were key players in organizing, almost on a regular basis, various fundraising and cultural events. Under their leadership, the Polish Arts Festival was organized and put on in 1999 and 2002 have changed the image of Poland among Canadian arts community in Manitoba. The goal of the festival was to promote and cultivate Polish culture among the Canadian and Polish communities. These cultural events showcased very talented artists of Polish ancestry who celebrated the richness and vibrancy of the Polish music, film, theater, fine, art, fine arts, literature, and poetry. Ever since Magojata, together with her husband, organized regular theater performances from Toronto and bring to Winnipeg professional musicians and entertainers. In appreciation for her dedication and service to the Polish community, Mrs. Pachownik is receiving an honorary bronze pin of the Canadian Polish Congress today. <laughs> Mrs. Paeja was born and raised in Montreal, Quebec. She has provided the creative inspiration and countless research hours behind many of the museum's exhibits, including the Kraków Pavilion Folklorama cultural displays, A Day in the Life of Medieval Kraków and Strange Medicine, as well as the current exhibit at the museum, Polish Posters, Hidden Messages of the Means of Communication. She created audiovisual presentations and developed workshops for O'Neill, and presented a lecture on the history of Ichinanki at the University of Manitoba in 2012. In appreciation for her dedication and service to the Polish community, Mrs. Farajek is receiving an honorary bronze pin of the Canadian Polish Congress today. Proszę Państwa, chciałabym jeszcze poprosić wszystkie te osoby, które albo poinformować Was wszystkich że wśród nas w zasadzie jest pięć osób, które są, e, które otrzymały Queen's Jubilee Mellow. Oprócz dzisiejszych odbiorców jest również na sali a, pan Maria Jaworski, pan Kazimierz Malkiewicz, jak i również podczas głównego zjazdu zarządu Kongresu Polonii Kanadyjskiej w Edmonton 
Lech Gęzowski otrzymał medal Queen's Jubilee Medal. Bardzo proszę wszystkim, wszystkim gratuluję serdecznie. Chciałabym bardzo serdecznie podziękować prezesowi Stowarzyszenia Polskich Kombatantów Koło nr 13, Dorota Praski, za udzielenie nam możliwości skorzystania z tej sali. Thank you very much, Dorota. I'm not sure if she's still present. I guess she already left. She had lots of other duties. Państwu dziękuję bardzo za przyjście. Wszystkim wyróżnionym, odznaczonym moje serdeczne gratulacje. Wszystkich tych, którzy chcą, czy są zainteresowani kontynuowaniem pracy społeczną na rzecz organizacji, na rzecz polskiego społeczeństwa, serdecznie zapraszam do organizacji, do zapisywania się, do włączania się na sznur. Thank you very much for coming and like I mentioned before or after, when we will take all the pictures, we can still stay and, pry and practice Polish songs. Thank you very much for coming. Have a good, safe drive home.